the filling in this meat pie promises you and delivers a savoriness that is satisfying and also very moist. And the crust will be the flakiest you've ever had. Buttery melt in your mouth. It will just be a mind-blowing experience for you. You're going to need your all-purpose flour. Eight cups followed by some crushed black pepper and some salt. Please check the description box out for the ingredients and their amounts. I added some granulated onion and garlic and whisk all my dry ingredients in to evenly combine them. And then I add some ghee. And ghee is clarified butter. It is essentially devoid of the cream or milk in the butter. So there is no moisture. It's pure decadent fat. Then use your hands to mix until it's evenly combined. And when you take a bit of the mixture and press it into a fist, it should stay together but easily crumble with a light pressure from your thumb. Now comes another decadent layer of our wet ingredients, equal parts water and evaporated milk. Drizzle a little amount onto your dry ingredients and then start bringing them in to combine. We're going to combine to form a dough a little bit at a time. All right, and the dough should be soft and without gluten. Now a tip I'm going to share with you today is that fat is what destroys gluten, even in a flour that has gluten in it, such as all-purpose flour. So therefore, because ghee is all fat, you do not have to ever worry about forming gluten, okay? So that's why we're able to use our palm to mix everything together, as opposed to what you will do if you use butter, because butter has cream in it, okay? Now we're working on our filling. So I have one onion, which I have chopped, and now here is celery, I'm going to do the same to it. In the meantime, our crust is resting in the fridge until we are ready to roll the dough out. Now here is some carrot, I'm going to give it a fine dice. The smaller you cut your fresh ingredients, the better you'll still get that chunky, more desirable texture, but then you will also be able to easily fit them into your pie crust. Now here is some scallions or green onions. Also chop them up and I'm going to introduce this heat. This is a Fresno chili. I remove the seeds first and then I give it a fine mince. Now to my chopped up chicken thighs, I'm going to add some flour, dry thyme, smoked paprika, salt, all-purpose seasoning, and crushed black pepper. I'm going to stir this together and add it to the chicken, but before that, let's drizzle on some olive oil. Onto the chopped up chicken thighs and add some garlic paste. This is homemade, as well as my homemade fresh green herb and spice blend. Then you wanna stir it in to combine well, and then you're going to add your flour and spice mixture as well. You want this mixture to coat every piece of chicken in this bowl. So stir it well, and then let it sit at room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes to marinate. Now we have our wok on medium high heat, and we're going to cook our chicken in batches so that we don't end up creating steam what we want is a crust all right so put a bit of the chicken into the hot oil spread them out and let it hang out for about three to four minutes and then go and start turning and then you're going to stir fry it for an extra four minutes to cook the chicken completely through i did add some homemade curry powder to it because i'm going for that curry flavor which works so beautifully in this recipe so you're going to add that stir it in and then i introduced this tool to help me break down the chicken a little bit further because I do want the chunkiness but I want them to be in smaller pieces all right and then we cook the next batch and the next and we're done voila the chicken is ready now we're going to cook our vegetables so a little more olive oil and then we're going to add our onions the celery and the carrots then season this layer with some salt and crushed black pepper and by the way we are cooking now on 
high heat to maintain the freshness and also the crunch in the vegetables. I have added my Fresno chili that I minced earlier on and then also added some curry powder just to get that curry flavor also in the vegetables. And then I also added some of my homemade all-purpose seasoning. The rest of the vegetables go in. So this is the red bell pepper and the scallions. Now, once I add those two ingredients in, I add the chicken right away as well. And then I turn the heat completely off. Okay, and then take it off of that range because that's still hot and we want to kind of stop the cooking. And to stop the cooking, I have one final ingredient I'm going to add and it's frozen peas that I just run some water on so they're still kind of frozen and still cool. So I put that in there and stir it in and immediately shocks the heat uh, level in the wok and everything cools down right away. Now let's work on our glaze. I have one whole egg whisk together to combine the yolk and the white and then drizzle in some evaporated milk. Whisk again to combine evenly and your glaze is ready. And this brilliant glaze is exactly what we need to give each meat pie a glossy shine that they all deserve. Yes, they're going to be very stunning meat pies. Now I've removed all the crust from the fridge. I need to bring them back to room temperature. And I take one at a time and cut them into four pieces because I prefer to work with a smaller amount of crust at a time. I just find that to be more manageable for me. However, you can roll out a bigger sheet at a time if you prefer to do it that way. No problem at all. Now I roll it out so I get a, a thin sheet, approximately one fifth of an inch thickness. I find that the thinner your crust, the flakier your meat pies in the end. So keep that in mind. So I cut out a circle and then I go and paint the edges or the perimeter with some of the glaze to form an adhesive. When I fold or turn over the pie crust, these are essentially turnovers or empanadas. Then I scoop a generous amount of the filling onto the one area below the diameter. And I give it light press so everything is adhering and if you fracture your crust no problem just fix it <laughs> yeah so my beautiful family these are homemade so don't expect them to be perfect actually those little imperfections is what makes it all the more special isn't that the truth alo amali ana eyentro ibia kushisama let me know what you think in the comment section I believe each pie will have its own character and that's very important to me. And this right here, forming the pies, is the most therapeutic part for me. Now one of our lovely sisters from Dipsy's Delight, a cooking channel, shared a very helpful tip. She stated that when you fold the pie crust over, let the top layer overlap the bottom one. And I tried that tip here. It makes so much sense and it makes your meat pies also look more presentable. They're very pretty. You always want to think about the end result, the final presentation. And that was one brilliant tip. So thank you, gorgeous Dipsy. Now we're coating the meat pies with our glaze. They're going into the oven now at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes. We'll check at the 15 minute mark to make sure our glaze is looking good. Golden brown is what I was going for and just look at this perfection. So it ended up taking me 20 minutes to get this perfection. Now, did you see how tender this meat pie is? You can tell this is gonna melt in your mouth. Look at that crust. Perfection, oh, nothing short of perfection. And look at that moist filling. This was one of the best meat pies I've ever made. And the secret is the ghee. Now I did find that making meat pie with ghee offers you that hassle-free, no-fail technique. And it also delivers the best results in terms of the taste. 
the best flavor ever possible. Now, when your meat pie is this fork tender, you know you nailed it. So Sister Madame has nailed it today. So kindly give me a thumbs up because in boy make it a great day and have fun, especially in that kitchen. Thank you, beautiful person, for watching the video all the way to the end. Kindly leave me a comment and subscribe down below and don't forget to share the video as well. Also watch more videos. It is chop time and here in Anaba's Kitchen, chop time is always yes friends. So pull up a chair. We are all friends and family here.